Okay, you say something I'm like, toop toop, like, no, <laughs> you're done. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Chelsea if you're new. Um, today we're going to be doing a different type of video. I'm super excited because I've seen a few um, of my favorite content creators do this video. So I was like, girl, I got to do it, okay? So if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps your girl out a lot, okay? So make sure that you comment. I really do appreciate you all when y'all tap in with me and just comment and just share love in the comment section. So don't forget to do that. If you're new here, join the family, okay? We would love to have you. We're going to be doing a what I learned in my 20s girl girl talk um video so this is different i've never done one of these obviously um so this is going to be really different for me the hair details i will link it in the description box because i know you guys are going to ask about the hair um but yeah let's just go ahead and get into it and by the way this get ready with me will not be like a um, i'm not going to be giving you details about every single thing that i'm using as far as products are concerned but everything will be linked in the description box because i know i'll be slacking on that description box and y'all be checking me but i appreciate it because I sh that's that's a part of the job okay it break the topics down into sections I'm gonna be talking about relationships finances mental health and friendships all four of those I feel like are important the most volatile topics in your 20s like listen and I'm 26 just for reference so, you know I'm heading into the later end of my 20s so all of these things would just be of course my opinion um but it's also things that I've just learned from my experiences so just keep in mind that your experiences may be totally different from mine and that's something that we can talk about in the comment section um but that's just how I interpret things and how you interpret them may be totally different so just take this as like a grain of salt okay but this is just the things that I've learned if you did find what I'm talking about um, to be helpful to you comment below and let me know what you like like the most about um, the conversation that we're going to be having today so I just thought this would be like really fun I'm gonna put my hair up because I don't know something about having my hair up while I'm doing my makeup is so much easier to me comment below if you're like that too because I feel like if I if my hair is down I'm focused on my hair being down up i did do um like a list of things and topics that i wanted to talk about um i just kind of broke them down for you guys here can you see but i broke them down on my on my um on my notes just so i won't miss anything as you grow i feel like your perspectives change you know like you're not gonna be thinking the same way you thought about things when you were um i'm putting on my primer right now by the way it's gonna be milk makeup um but you're not gonna think the same way that you used to when you were 18 or when even when you were 23 I, I know for a fact I don't think the same way that I did when I was 23 at 26 and I just feel like the older I get the more that's gonna like change and adapt I'm looking in my mirror too by the way I feel like the older I get the more that's gonna change I think more logically now than just off of impulse and just off of how I'm feeling off of emotions you know I have to actually just take a step back let those emotions clear out and then make a decision on what I'm gonna do to move forward <laughs> baby the old me would listen would be ready to snap I mean I would hang up on people in mid sentence if you say something I don't like the call has dropped <laughs> Baby, it's nothing for us to talk about. I would hang up on somebody in, in a hot heartbeat. I don't care who you was. You could be whoever. And if you know me and you've uh, experienced that side of me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's different now, okay? She's a lot more grown, a lot more classy. You know, I can have a disagreement with somebody. I can have a difference of opinions with someone and still be able to carry myself like I got some sense. But... 18 year old Chelsea, 21 year old Chelsea, and maybe 23 year old Chelsea will hang up on you and Harvey. Okay, you say something I'm like, doop doop, like, no, <laughs> you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Okay, um, so yeah, that's something that has changed about me. So that's gonna, that brings me into the topic of relationships. There are a few things that I have learned in relationships. You have to learn how to maneuver through relationships and also understand that some relationships are now lo no longer going to serve you. And when they're no longer serving you, what to do after that? You have to, you have to learn and grow and adapt. And everybody is not meant to be in your life forever. And that's something that I had to really sit back and understand that people that, I really care for or um, had feelings for or whatever the case may have been I had to learn that those people may not be in my life forever 
like and it really didn't click for me until like later on i say into like probably about 24 um because i used to think that people if i'm so solid or if i'm so like consistent with you why can't you be consistent with me but everybody's not meant to be in your life forever and everybody is not at that point that you are in your life and that's something that you have to keep in mind no matter how good of a person you are to someone if they're not ready for you or if they're not in a space to accept that it's not going to be the right one for you something that i have so that's something that i've definitely learned in my 20s and to let things be sis like listen let things be if if somebody is disrespecting you let them do that over there but don't let them in your space you know what i'm saying if somebody doesn't know how to treat you or if somebody doesn't know how to value you and really show you that let them go because it's a hundred other million people in the world and you're gonna find that one person that is for you believe me it's gonna work with somebody you know so you really have to just find your person and in the midst of that just find yourself and the right person is gonna gravitate with gravitate to you and they're gonna provide you with that loyalty makeup get ready with me but i'm sitting over here chatting um so i'm just gonna apply my foundation i'm using the um nars creamy radiant um i kind of i like that a lot you know your girl has been liking it um but yeah just understanding that people are not meant to be in your life forever and if they aren't in your life forever that's okay it doesn't make them a bad person it doesn't make you a bad person it just didn't work and you can't force nobody to change you cannot force nobody to change okay no matter how much you want them to if they still are stuck in their old ways or if they're still not making an effort or if they put other efforts into other things except you take that as a sign baby that's a red flag somebody is saying that they want to be in a relationship with you but they're not putting in that effort or they're not giving you their all they don't want to be there they just like your presence you know what i'm saying some people really just like your presence they don't want to be with you they just like the fact that you're there or that you're always there and those type of people you have to really be careful of because they can drain you and they can make you feel empty and you don't want nobody to make you feel empty so the main point out of this conversation i would have to say is just finding um finding people that value you and surrounding yourself by with them and just you know in the midst of that if you catch on to something that something is no longer serving you or that person is just not the right fit then baby let it go don't try to force anything and that's not me saying don't fight for what you want you know what i'm saying it's okay to fight for what you want but if you know that that person is not fighting with you you in a battle on your own okay and nobody wants to go go to war by themselves okay i need somebody who's gonna go to war with me i need somebody who's gonna fight for me just as much as i'm fighting for them if not more you have to be the person that you want to be with you know what i'm saying so if you know you have things that you need to work on with, about yourself like why would you expect somebody else to tolerate that like if you know that you're not patient but you want your partner to be patient that's not gonna work you know what i'm saying like you have to find somebody you have to be the person that you want to be with if your um love language is acts of service and you know start doing things for yourself like start doing nice things for yourself you have to be that for yourself before you can expect that from other people and i would say that's a huge thing that i've learned um is just focusing on um on myself and what i value in relationships and also trying to give that to myself like i love acts of service i like all of them honestly all of the love languages give me all of it why would i want just one um <laughs> I love um, acts of service. So say if I have, like, if I'm having a long day at work, I want my partner, I want my man to be like, um, and I told him I haven't eaten. Okay, baby, I'm going to bring you something to eat. Okay? Like, you hear me saying that I haven't, I need this or whatever. I didn't ask you for it, but I'm telling you that I need X, Y, and Z. I have not eaten. I don't want somebody to be like, oh, you should get you something to eat. I should give me something to eat. When I've been working all day. How am I going to give me something to eat if I've been working on it? You know, like stuff like that. Like, I don't want that. I want somebody who's going to put in that effort. Like, I want somebody who's going to give me that quality time. I want somebody who's going to show me that they love me and just and tell me. You know what I'm saying? Also tell me, verbalize how they feel. So it's just like, <laughs> I want all of them, baby. I'm sorry. If that's too much, honey, then I'm not the right girl for you. And I say that to say because I know what I can give. Like, I know the love that I have to give. So I want that in return, you know? So I just feel like stuff like that is simple. So if somebody is not adding to you, baby, they taking away and just subtract them from the equation and find yourself better. And that's my biggest advice as far as like relationships and 
your 20s like you don't want to meet somebody who's going to damage you for the next person or going to damage you in life and where you set back now you know you're set back thinking about a whole year of time that you've wasted with somebody you know what i'm saying like if you see her in a red flag is a red flag baby okay it's not pink it's not blue it's red okay i don't care if it's like a little bit if they do something if i see something nowadays like to where i just don't like it's a red flag to me i'm sorry like it's a red flag i know people people are allowed to make mistakes i'm not perfect either um so I, i'm holding myself to the same standard you know if somebody sees something in me that they just don't like or it's just too much for them i respect their decision to say okay i'm gonna take a step back from you because it's too much you know what i'm saying like it's too much for me and it's something that i can't allow around me and that's not me saying don't forgive a person because we all make mistakes we're not perfect but if it's something that you know that you won't be able to tolerate they're gonna do it again okay they're gonna do it again um unless they actively say in their mind like okay i'm not gonna let this happen again i value you and i'm gonna make this change for you so that we can be better as a partnership you know that we can work as a partnership but if it's not like that and they just keep doing the same thing baby it's a red flag let that person go i'm gonna do my concealer real quick blend that in i'm gonna um y'all y'all are just gonna watch me put on my concealer and once i start setting my face then we're gonna come back and finish up the chat because i don't want to make this like super duper long i just want it to be like a few basic tips that i've learned that i feel like i should share with y'all Okay, so my face is set. I'm gonna go with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to set the rest of my face. Um, but so the next topic, so I think that's pretty much that on that. What I've had, um, what I've learned on relationships is just you know it has to be equal, it has to be reciprocated, and if it's not, if it's no longer serving you, let it go. Don't try to force anything to work. Um, and that's not me saying don't fight, but if it's too much of a fight, baby, let that battle go. Um, so my next topic that I had to talk about um, was about uh, friendships 
my friendships a topic is pretty simple letting people be them you don't have to talk to your friend every day for it to be considered a friend like generally most of my friends i don't talk to them every day except like two people i talk to every day but a majority of my friends you know what i'm saying we don't have to talk every day to be friends but at the end of the day even though we don't talk every day we're still there for each other we're still present in each other's lives like that's important that's those are the important things it's not about how much you talk every day because you can talk to somebody every day and the conversation are they don't encourage you to do anything different you don't encourage them to do be, be different and be better the conversations are very trivial trivial like they're just hey what's up what you doing oh no you know like it doesn't have any substance so um i don't see anything wrong with just talking to your friend um you know once a month once a week once every you know if you but as long as y'all check in i feel like that's all that matters if you check in with each other now friends to me is not considered like i haven't talked to you in six months or a year and then then you pop up when something's going on with you or then you pop up when your life is in shambles or when something big is happening for you you want me to show up for you that's not no friend you know what i'm saying and also just picking up on like, jealousy and stuff like that like if your friend is showing any sign of jealousy, it's because they are, and let them be. Like, <laughs> them not your friends, them not your people, you know what I'm saying? Like, my people celebrate me, I celebrate my people. Like, when they have wins, the same way I celebrate them, I expect them to celebrate me. It's just real, like, everything is reciprocated. And I feel like reciprocation is the biggest thing that I've learned um, in my 20s. If it's not being reciprocated, that's on any level, any level of relationship. <laughs> Baby, let them go too. Okay, let them go. So that was pretty much my thing, my biggest thing that I've learned in my 20s. Um, it's just in letting your friends do them. Like your friends are there. They have to have their own lives. Just like you have your own life, they have to have theirs. And you can expect them to be um, all about you all the time. And that's not a friend if it's all about you. And it's not a friend if it's all about them. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be balanced. Balance is everything. The biggest factor that i've learned in life is balance is important no matter what it's about you have to be balanced you have to be balancing your finances your relationships your thinking your health everything has to be balanced you can't have too much of one thing you're gonna be you know something else is gonna lack if you have too much of one thing so moving on a little bit um i'm gonna talk about finances since we're talking about finances finances was a struggle for me okay because i was a spend that type of girl like if you got it spend it and you're gonna get it back <laughs> type girl i'm so i'm still battling with that because it's just like sometimes i'll be like i'm gonna get it back you know what i'm saying nothing but a I'm gonna get it back but being more conscious of your finances um I also have it written down to make sure that you're saving okay saving is so important like I feel like the majority of my money that I had like during college baby college child listen refunds was getting spent up on okay. stuff that I don't even have to this day and that is sad that is so sad um if y'all didn't know I did graduate um I have my bachelor's degree in psychology um that may be a fun fact that you guys didn't know about me but yeah i did go to school um and i graduated in 2018 baby listen finances were not a thing to me child i was buying whatever living life going out buying bottles doing stuff i had no business doing with my little refund now nowadays i'm thinking about how can i invest my money how can i figure out how to make my money grow not only save it but figuring out how to make my money grow for me and create general generational wealth um and it's not about me for me you know everybody has different goals like for me it's not about being the richest woman on the planet like of course i want to be comfortable comfortable enough to where my kids are comfortable and their kids may be pretty comfortable you know what i'm saying but because i've taught my children how to create that for themselves but as far as like me just trying to be the richest that's not on my goal um that's not one of my goals but for other people that may be your goal and that's fine too but um i just want to be uh financially literate because a lot of times you know i'm saying like i didn't really know much about finances that i know now and even that i'm trying to learn and trying to um learn more about because if you broke or if your credit is baby you can't get nothing if your credit is below baby you ain't gonna get nothing okay so being responsible with your credit being responsible with your finances figuring out how you can make your money grow for you even if you work a nine to five it has nothing to do about what job you work it has nothing to do about if you're a business owner or if you're not it's about literally understanding 
your dollars okay and making them grow for you so that you can create you know different different sources of income we all want multiple sources of income in 2022 i don't care what job you work i don't care what your career career is right now i'm pretty sure that the majority of us want to want to figure out how we can do better and have multiple sources of income and that's what's on my biggest agenda right now i feel like learning that um in my 20s right now, I feel like that's the biggest thing that I have learned is how can I create a, multiple sources of income for myself? So not only YouTube, not only, you know, me being a makeup artist, not only me um, getting sponsorships. It's just also like me figuring out how can I maybe start up another business or um, investing stocks, all of that, maybe trading you know figuring out how to make money work for myself is like the biggest thing that I want to get down before before I hit my 30s you know what I'm saying and also just keeping in mind that it's not a race you're not in a race okay it's not a rush the money is gonna come okay like the money is gonna come as long as you're putting in the work and you're doing everything that you need to do on a daily basis you have to let life not my hair come down you have to let life do what life is supposed to do you know what i'm saying but also we can control that a little bit by making the making better decisions it's about making better decisions it's like in life it's not about rushing oh i gotta get this meal or oh i gotta make this you know six figures right now like or oh i gotta get this million like no evaluate what you're gonna do to get there and just do the work you know everything else is gonna come to you everything else is gonna come to you i don't care how fast we want something to come baby if it's not coming tomorrow, it's not coming tomorrow. If it's not coming a year from now, it's not going to come a year from now. We have nothing to do with that. All we have to do is just put in the work and the rest will follow. So that's my biggest advice for my 20s as far as like finances, being more financially literate, also doing research, figuring out how can I make my money work for myself? How can I make my money grow? How can I create a life for myself that is beautiful in my eyes? Not what the internet think is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just about being on your pace and focusing on what it is that you want. Focus on you, baby, and the rest will come. But just be, be more conscious of your finances. That's the biggest advice that I have learned. Um, the biggest thing that I've learned in my 20s is just being more financially conscious, okay? Because you get out in that real world, baby, it's gonna wake you up. If you didn't go through the things that have shaped you into the person that you are, like, life is not perfect. We weren't dealt a pretty hand. Everybody has been through things, and all of those things has, have taught us how to not do that and how to not and how to not make those mistakes as an adult and not to ha make the mistakes that our parents may even make. You know what I'm saying? Like, and how to be a better person. Keep going, um, just realizing that whatever's for you will be for you it's, i'm gonna finish my look up and then we're gonna talk about mental health and then we're gonna close out the video because this 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 topic right here has been the biggest i say this for last because if your mental is not right your finances will not be right right you won't have any good relationship your mental ain't together if you don't have your mental right and your heart right baby your whole life is in shambles so i'm gonna finish up my makeup and then we're gonna talk about mental health yeah, then we're gonna close up the video. I went ahead and put on my lashes, liner. This lash is trying to give me some trouble issue. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lip gloss and then um, we're gonna wrap up the video. So mental health, okay? That's like, this is the last topic um, that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I'm using Boho by Morphe, by the way. I just say your mental health is so important. I know I went through a big transition um, after graduating from college because after college you're thinking that you're gonna have your dream job you're gonna be making money you're gonna be living your best life and no sometimes you just go through things in life that really can um have a big effect on you mentally and i think um the biggest thing my biggest advice or the thing that i've learned is to do things that are going to help me um, make my mental health even stronger. Um, you will face a lot of challenges in life. And I face y'all, if y'all only knew half of the stuff that I've been through, you'll be like, how are you doing your makeup? You know, even coming on here and encouraging y'all to do better. How are y'all doing? How are you doing that? Like, if you only knew. 
I just say that to say your experiences shape you and sometimes it can shape you into a person that you don't want to be. If you feel yourself becoming this person that you don't want to be and you can afford help or if you can afford to talk to someone about it, then invest in counseling. Like that's that's nothing wrong with that. Like I feel like up until now, like recently, people would think that if you go to counseling, something is wrong with you. But no, you're actually doing good because a lot of people hold that stuff in and project that onto other people, which is the worst thing that you can do. Say like and do things that help um build your mental health and help you become a better person like journaling if you know that you're not good at expressing how you feel journal document how you're feeling in that moment um allow yourself to feel but don't stay in it i think that was a big thing that i've learned in my 20s because when i would go through things uh, up until like when i was younger i would go through things of course they didn't bother me even though they were like the toughest of tough things to go through um but as I got older, it had a bigger effect on me. So I had to learn how to handle those situations. So now I put into practice like getting affirmations done every morning. If I don't do my affirmations in the morning, I definitely feel a difference. And pouring into me, figuring out what it is that I need. And that's why I say it's so important to keep people in relationships. People that are around you, they need to uplift you, help you be a better person. They need to motivate you and inspire you and also be your safe space. You know what I'm saying? Not your safe space for you to project your feelings on to them but just where you feel comfortable with just being you you know and so I feel like that's so important a lot of people don't talk about that um so that was definitely a thing that I've learned in my 20s that's why I wanted to do um psychology at the same time I was trying to get out of school but at the same time I really do enjoy um like talking about mental health because it's such a big thing and the, your mental plays a big role in your life you know half the reasons why we are where we are in life is because you thought yourself to that point so you need to reevaluate figure out how you can make your mental health stronger and just you know go from there and that's my little spiel on what i've learned in my 20s hopefully you, you did enjoy this video and you found something helpful if not helpful you just could relate to me in this video i hope that you guys were able to do that um if you have some experience that you want to share drop them in the comment section because i would love to see and love to read them and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was real different um again i am 26 so of course i don't have all of the knowledge i don't know certain things and certain things i'm still learning but this is just what i've learned so far and i thought i'd share with you guys i love y'all so much don't forget to like comment subscribe 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 because i am doing a giveaway on sunday i'm going to tell you guys um the details of the giveaway because i will be picking four winners next week so make sure that you subscribe make sure that you share share this video if you did find it helpful share it on facebook share it to your friend your family love y'all to the moon and back okay i love y'all so much and i can't wait to see you on my next one um yeah i love y'all and see you later